Here's Keith. I don't know what's going on with Keith Ellison. <laughs> <laughs> they love him. This crowd loves Keith. He's, he's, a, he's such a progressive favorite. So I don't know why he tweets out stuff like this. So he tweeted this out. He says, can't understand why some, thank goodness, only a few people have a bigger beef with Hillary Rodham Clinton than Trump. I just don't get it. <laughs> and here's how what I respond. I said, Dems new strategy. Keep reminding us about most unpopular presidential candidate in party history in hopes of losing a few more House and Senate seats. <laughs> So he doesn't get why people are still angry at Hillary or what have you. I don't get why the fuck he wants to start tweeting, keeps tweeting about the person who got their ass beat by a fucking reality show star four months ago. Why do you give a shit about her? Hey, I'm sure that in March of 1989, they were still tweeting about Dukakis. Am I right? <laughs> I mean, they're like, Jesus Christ, this goddamn George W. Herbert Walker Bush guy. We should have Dukakis. <laughs> Dukakis was fantastic. Why don't people like Dukakis? <laughs> so, uh, so uh, would anybody have anything to say about this? Keith Ellison, Graham, Stefan? <laughs> Uh, th well, their their strategy of never taking responsibility for why they lost the fucking election is just they're holding on to that one no matter what. It really seems like that's it's, the... It's, it's fantastic. It's like if the Atlanta Falcons six months from now are still going, boy, I don't know, the Super Bowl referee, they, 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 even though our defense blew a fucking lead like a bunch of assholes. Why didn't the fans scream louder for us? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to blame the fans. <laughs> there were a lot of third-party fans fans there. <laughs> they were rooting for a team that had no chance to win. And that's why we lost. Third party football fans are the fucking worst. Oh. Oh. Don't get Pick a team. Well, uh, al allegedly the Atlanta Falcons did contact Peter Dow about being their new head coach. So <laughs> Peter Dow, Joe, going deep. <laughs> going deep for the progressives on the Peter Dow. If you're a progressive on Twitter, you know who Peter Dow is. He is a douche. <laughs> Here's what someone said to Keith Ellison. Uh, Trump didn't ri rig our primary, then continue to abuse progressives. Use that DNC lobbyist money to buy yourself a clue. <laughs> And, and a thong liked it. That's awesome. Who liked it? Uh, there's, there's, a, there's just a thong with, oh, uh, that, with that a first, face on the butt. That is a thong. That's, that's one oh, nice. smart. Oh, yeah. look at that. Oh, yeah. And a motorcycle liked it? Yeah. <laughs> and an alien liked it? A spaceship person? <laughs> no, that, and is that a llama? What's that thing no, next to I can't. Uh, that's... that's that's a guy getting his dog, licking him face with his All dog. Right, or a know. llama. I and I'm, switch, I'm switching it. <laughs> so here's some more comebacks that Keith Ellison got on Twitter. Uh, because she was fine with rigging an election in her favor and against a man who would have beat Trump. Um, duh. That's why. And then crankier underneath, <laughs> crankier. I love people's Twitter names. <laughs> Crankier says, what happens when one rigs the election against members of your own party? They get Trump up their ass. <laughs> now, here's the weird part. I think that kind of, uh, it, this is emblematic of the entire uh, corporate Democrat Hillary Clinton mindset, is this, this series of tweets here. This guy, he's got a blue check, so you know he's important. He, he says, please try to understand 2016 was a message. Establishment Dems won't win in 2020. So that's a good that's a good tweet. That's what he's saying to Keith Ellison. And then uh, this guy Margie or woman Margie Mercurdo Reedy says uh, so many white males under the age of 40. So she's saying yeah, only fucking guys under 40 are think like you, which is not true because I look at this room and there's a lot of people who don't fit that category. How many how many women do we have here? Like that. How many people look under 40? Yeah, yeah! <laughs> With the right well, lens. You I dye the shit out of my hair. So the next one down, he responds, well, 
She, she says, yes, says many white males under the age of 40. And then he replies, well, yes, us and the 2016 Electoral College. <laughs> she responds, you mean the 78,000 votes across three states filled with votes for Jill Stein and write-ins by people like you? Yep, that's what she says. And then he responds, so you agree Dems need the progressive vote to win? I voted... <laughs> Yeah, that's what she's fucking saying. So, because those assholes have voted Jill Stein. So you need the progressives? Why wouldn't you reach out to the progressives? That's what politicians are supposed to do. You need their vote, you go get them. You don't go, I need your vote, asshole. <laughs> now what the fuck is it gonna be? <laughs> you gonna vote for me, asshole? Or you gonna vote for that guy who says nice stuff to you? And how dare you <laughs> fucking, you, I, I, you need to vote for me and not give me a check? Go fuck yourself. Yes. yes. I need a six figure check. Now, here is one more uh, uh, Twitter feed that this is underneath Keith Ellerson's post, by the way. So, Lo L Logan Pusillo says it may have something to do with her almost complete disappearance after the election. Bernie is still out there fighting, which he is. <laughs> And then Karen Rose, somebody with the blue check, so you know she's important, she says, he's still a senator, she's a private citizen, apologizing for Hillary, not fucking doing anything. And then somebody, Josh Eldridge, regular person, says, if I'm reading you correctly, you can't be a noteworthy private citizen and still fight for people? Karen Rose, blue check, important person, comes back with, oh, for fuck's sake, you assholes hate her and hate women, and nothing she does is sufficient. That's why I voted for Jill Stein, because I hated women. Oh, that's so, that's so infuriating. That's a, the blue check person. Well, wait. If she's a private citizen, why was there a big media blitz now that she's come out of the woods? Why right. is that? Why did that happen if she's a private That's I, I'm a private citizen, and that never happened to me. There's never been a big press release like, hey, Ron Placone came out of the woods. Let's see if he had a good trip or a bad one. That's never happened, so. Now, Steph, you're a woman. I mean, I'm assuming, correct? I don't wanna. So you're a woman. Now, Steph, I have you... surprises. I would think that that statement by Karen Rose, oh, for fuck's sake, you assholes hate her and hate women. It, it puts my bush in a knot, if that's what you're asking. <laughs> if that's what you're asking, yes, Jimmy. I'm asking. And I'm wearing my pussy cap, but you can't tell because I'm wearing pants. <laughs> Where do you get a pussy cap? Hey, what's new, pussy cap? Whoa, 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 whoa. Pussy cap, pussy cap, oh, so sweet. <laughs> you and your pussy cap. <laughs> Thank you. I saw Tom Jones in person once at the Universal Amphitheater, and he wore a tight t shirt, and uh, he also wore a prosthetic that made it look like he had abs. <laughs> And I was like, good for you, Tom Jones. <laughs> I would not want to see a Tom Jones with a fucking doughy belly. I don't want to see it. If you got to put on a, a, a you know, like a, a broiler. <laughs> under your t-shirt, do it. It's not about you, Tom. It's about us. Burn. 